Oh, I wanted to see what he does against uh, e4 too. Probably c5? Like c3? Should be five. Ooh, so this line, okay. And what if um what if knight f three here? Okay, g six. Oh, he, he okay, he could potentially fall into this trap. E six is a bad move because uh knight b five. So maybe I'll try and trap him with this. It's not the most likely, but um All right, let's uh let's send a challenge. Let's play um oh, let's play E4. I'm going to try this trappy line. Rosen, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So expecting this and this. Yeah, okay, so this is another part of preparation. Um, oh, he could play bishop g7. I think he's actually more likely to play bishop g7. But I'm hoping for this move, because then he'd be capable of locking into a nice trap. Oh, thanks for that, off the schneed. Yeah, so now bishop g7 takes, takes here, and then e6. This is what I looked up before. It's not a good line for... For black. The only good move here, I believe, is knight h6. Which, I'll be surprised if he knows. Yeah, wow. So this is this is why opening prep pays off. It's, again, it's a question if I can convert. Um, but yeah, it's already like difficult for black, because uh, this square is so weak. Uh, no offense to the square. Queen b6. So queen b6 prevents knight d6, but in the usual idea is to play this move. I'm calculating bishop f8, queen d3. Even queen g3, wait a minute. Queen g3 might be better here, because I have the additional threat of knight c7 along with knight d6. No offense to the square. LOL, yeah. I don't want to offend anyone or any squares. Yeah, okay. I, I know it's good for a while. I just have to figure out figure out the best continuation. Um because both moves look attractive, but I think I'll go for this first. Um, expecting e5 and then queen a3. It's cool that the queen, it has like so many squares on the third rank to, to access. Oh, thanks everyone for subbing. Yeah. Uh, especially d6. And c7. Thank you, no free tacos. And the almighty data. Subbing both for two months. Appreciate that. Yeah, so it's still threatening this, and the problem with black playing e5 is uh, now the bishop has a target on f7. So with bishop f8, I can keep initiative with a move like this or this. I was calculating this, knight h6, and then d3. I don't know, we didn't really predetermine. We're just trying to play like, friendly but competitive games. So maybe I'll message him after this game. Yeah, I'm thinking queen queen to b3 here. And yeah, this looks really difficult for black. Because now d3. I'm threatening to take the knight. So basically threatening this and then takes here. Yeah, I didn't even sack a pawn for this. And we still each all have our uh, our eight pawns. Oh, that's a move. 
So there's no like discovery tactics. Uh, this so these moves none of them quite work. So let's go for this and then win a pawn. Wait a minute. Have to be careful. Yeah, otherwise, I guess I take and play knight a3 and just I'm up a pawn. Queen a3. I'm looking for other other options here. There's this crazy move. Don't think it works though. And so knight a3. Okay, so all that for winning a pawn. Um, <laughs> maybe black has compensation. Mm, probably should maneuver the knight back. Yeah, I go for a4. It was a very typical break with like the structure on the queen side. Want to get the rook involved. Like to create some weakness in black's pawns. He wants to play bishop e6. Which I probably should still go for this. Mm. Actually, let's be solid. Let's develop first. Ah, not sure what to do here. I just have to move quickly. Play this, and then this, and then this. I spent too much time trying to to punish his opening. Oh, good move. Oof. Oh, this is really uncomfortable. Ah, don't flag me. No. There goes my exchange. I didn't see what else to do. Oh. Ah, robo calls. Ah, my pawn. C4 maybe? I just I'm trying to get initiative somehow. I guess he can just take because I'm pinned. Play B4. I'm trying to complicate things. I mean this bishop is actually kind of aesthetic. And if I can take, I'm controlling the queening square. Also calculating takes, 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 and then here? Oh, but then he mates me. Or just defends. <laughs> Living on the increment now. Okay, so now the idea is this and this. No, I be pawn. Oh, there goes my hope. I have this move. This is my one last try. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got mated. Ah, I spent too much time. He fought back well. Good game. So, what do you think was the other best game on the, on the? So, I I was proud of my preparation. Like the preparation, I, of course, the Stafford Gambit prep. I'm I'm proud of. But the other one that I kind of predicted beforehand was the Sicilian game. Which one? Uh, well, I caught you in like some opening trap. Yeah. Wait. wait but you wait. still won. Really? Which one? So, oh yes, this one. Well, this was so interesting because I feel <laughs> like I was better after I lose the pawn. Oh, yeah, I, it, it was interesting. Yeah, I, I know I'm supposed to be better because, like, e6 is not a good move for black. Queen f4 was. Uh, Regian Ray Robson is suggesting queen f4 instead of queen g3. But oh. I don't know. Oh. Preventing e5. Oh. 
that move was not a consideration. Because I like at first I thought, okay, Queen A3 is like the main idea. Then I, I knew Queen G3 is a resource. I forgot this has some purpose. Fifteen months of awesomeness. Wow. Okay, that, that looks pretty, pretty annoying. Um, do I have to give up the exchange? I guess or maybe play King Seven. You have to do something really ugly. I think I have to play King Seven, right? I don't see anything else. Yeah, you, probably. Bond cloud idea, against your oh, will. I don't even stop that. I don't even stop. Still knight C seven. Oof. Yeah, it looks hollow. No. Yeah, whenever you play E five, you lose F seven. Yeah, the F, that's what I did it for, and it doesn't work. So that's not a choice. Then what else, though? Maybe so. H6. So the thing about this line, you shouldn't play E six. I have to play knight H six, right? So knight H six is all like probably the the best move. Yeah. That's what I knew, and I said it. And uh, I was, oh wow, let's just play E six. Let's just play. Six. It's funny. I, I said it too, but um, I found one game that you had played, like just going through your your games and opening tree, where you had played this. So I did. Oh my god! How, yeah, how some some random game on Lee Chess. Wait, this is an amazing way of preparing, guys. If you know the username of someone on on chess.com on Lee Chess, this is in, this is crazy because even I didn't remember that I play e six. Yeah, it was the last thing I prepared right before we we played. Um, oh, you actually had two games in this line. So look what I did e6 because I was like, oh, let me get out of the opening. That's why I did it. <laughs> I did it because I wanted to get out of the opening. Then you play. Right. Uh, then I should have played knight six because e6 is horrible. And no wonder why. But you get all the initiative with knight b5. I did not think about knight b5. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you actually had this position in a bullet game at the end of August. Uh, did I lose? And you... Did you lose? Wow. Uh, yeah, you lost. <laughs> did, did, who, who was that? Who was the player? It was probably some GM. Some... Uh, it was an I am a uh, Daskevich yeah. from Norway. Wow. Yeah, I remember playing him. Oh wow, e six. Yeah, you, you're... Yeah, it was after uh, after e six knight b five. You had another game. Your opponent played knight e two, so it didn't punish you as much. Wow. So it's almost like you just you just knew, yeah, I'm gonna play six for sure. Wow. So, so I did mean, you play this line as or did you just saw it and So usually what I'll do is if if I know I'm gonna be playing someone, I'll I'll scout out like their, their repertoire and see what what openings they'll be most likely to fall into traps. And I'll just go through my like my E4 repertoire, my London repertoire and see like where they're vulnerable. Wow. So it's I'm a nice gonna, uh, I, it's a nice tool. This looks very this looks very dangerous even after knight six because can I just play the same knight b five on queen g three? I know it doesn't look as strong anymore, but can I do it? Like wait, say that knight? one more time. So like let's say if I go knight h six, oh mm -hmm. no 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 no, I get it now because now knight b five doesn't work very well because um because uh, the bishop's not blocked and you, there's no d six square. You don't have checks on d six. So sense. I I would play knight. Uh, 92 and then, and then there's actually a cool idea for black if i cast or okay you castle and then if i castle or even if i oh, play d3 yes there's an ig4 move I, I don't yeah know. so knight g4 taking yes. advantage of the fact if i take you have d5 and you want to play knight e5 I, I have a memory of an anon game on this line but i don't know if i'm right it's, it's some long time ago uh yeah there was a phase where a lot of like strong players were playing this there was a, a morosevic game Mm -hmm. Fiddler played this. Um, so if you were to castle, I would play bishop b3, just preventing knight g4. That makes sense, because this is a huge, you know, huge improvement for the knight, no? Exactly. I don't want to allow that. It's still playable, but uh, requires some knowledge of, uh, of theory. Can you see the arrows when I, I put the arrows to? Yes, yeah. No, it's everything synced up. So it's oh, great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. No, it's so it's so good for teaching. I don't know if you're still like uh teaching these days, but uh Yeah, I am. I don't I usually use chess base. Um mm. ne never use Lee chess really for teaching. No. Yeah, but Yeah, it's a bit more accessible. I mean, both both programs work, but uh th this has like the main features you would need uh that chess because base people has. You can also play, make moves. That's yeah, that's one on the downside of chess base. You are the only one who can make moves. Right. Yeah, and you have control over uh if like your student can access the engine or can access opening book um, and everything's saved too. So, yeah. 
So so anyway, after after night B five, when when after all this crazy stuff, I feel like after after you trade queens, I might be better for real because I got the bishop pairs, and I was talking about it. I got into this by force, yeah. but somehow in Rosen, I feel like I'm actually better. <laughs> and that's what I felt. I don't know. After B five, I don't see why I'm, I'm worse. I mean, you got I mean, nine. I think it took me it took me several more moves to realize I'm I'm like struggling. Uh, cause I felt like all the momentum was going my way. It was a nice opening. I'm up a pawn. And then I realized, oh, you have a C file. I can never play rook C1. My knight is terrible. I can't yes. play F4 even. So. You cannot play rook C1. Exactly. You cannot play. What are you going to do in the nine? Um, yeah, my, my first instinct was to play D6 and bishop E6, right? To get rid of the C2, uh, we, uh, you know, defender, but then I'm like, why, yeah. would, why would I trade the pair of bishops? That makes no sense. So, yeah, I was expecting bishop e6, and then like you didn't play maybe, it. Maybe this was a moment for you to play something like a4. I, I felt like you mm -hmm. had to do a4 before I play five four because then I was considering I, playing a4 even here, exactly. Like right yeah. now, I was thinking about maybe bishop d7, and then you take me or just leave it there, right? But then if you take your, you might be worse anyway. So I was more scared of bishop e6. Maybe bishop d7 is playable, but this is also... Bishop e6 doesn't look very bad for you because then you just, you just take trade bishops and your king. I thought my c-pawn's still weak. Oh, but I have king d1. Yeah, king d1. And That's a good point. Actually, you probably have rook a2. I mean, I know it looks weird, but... Is mm. it? Because if look now, anytime I take here, you can actually go ninety two, maybe a nice and then nice c four, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess I control I when play. the a file opens. That's why I didn't play bishop e six. At any point, I was not gonna play. I was just gonna play bishop d seven, and and I was hoping you were not gonna play rook b. Uh, you, I was hoping you would allow me to play rook b eight. Right. Then I stop you from a four because the b two pawn is hanging. That's that was a pretty big. Yeah, I like this B3 idea, like B3 just like limits all your counterplay because it yeah. cuts off any play on the B file, defend C2, but my, my time was so bad. I spent all this time in the opening trying to punish you more. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, I, so a lot of the time in those games, I realized that you were low in time almost at the end. I didn't even, I was mm. like, okay. Um, when I looked at it, we were like, oh, well, you're down to the 20 seconds, all right. I mean, it's one of my biggest weaknesses, especially with 3 plus 2, because I get too comfortable with the increment. You're right, you're, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I you played really very fast, uh, you know, the last time, so you've beaten me on like chess.com mm -hmm. games, tournaments and stuff, yeah, or like, or even on the, one of the, I think we played, we, we played in US Open, that. actually. Huh? We played in US Open, if you remember that, Blitz Tournament. Wait, US Open? Yeah, it was in, um, what Wait. state was it in? Wait, we did. Wait. I forget what state, though. Was it oh, it was in Orlando, I think. Orlando? Well, I played two in Orlando. I'm guessing what's the, old, the, the longest one, the oldest one. It was a more recent one in Orlando, 2019. Yeah, August 2019. So last year, I played that one. Because I, 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 I went there not to play in the main event, but to do commentary. But then I played in the Blitz tournament. Wait, what was the line that we played? So I, I actually, I have the game saved on Lee Chess. Okay, okay, please show it. Uh, I don't remember at all. You beat me, right? Did you beat me? So we, well, it was a double round. Uh, I beat you in this like London Pierce variation. And then you beat me. You played like F4 on move one and then you beat me. I remember now. I remember now because I lost that game. I feel like I was winning on that game somehow in the, first, in the one that I lost, right? I don't know, I remember, I have a memory, but not, not really sure. It oh yeah, US last Open Blitz. Blitz. Here it is. It was the last play US Open, so not so long ago. I, I, can, I can invite you to the this new study. Yeah, of course. Right. Like, we, we can have a, a, a little flashback. Um, All right. I, I actually mentioned it, so the last game we, we played just now, uh -huh. in this, uh, like, you played G6 and then D5. Yes, the the London. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, I remember now this game. Yeah. Oh no, no. This game you just completely crushed me, right? This game, yeah. Like you, you just walked into this kingside oh, attack. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I, you just completely destroyed me on this. One. Uh. Yeah. And I then didn't, I didn't even know why I played d six. I it was just one of those moves that you do sometimes. You don't even know why. Uh huh. I I I don't play this line. I always play d five. So I played d six, and I'm like, why did I get onto this? 
why in the world and i somehow almost managed to I, yeah I, I almost, but no not you were not. trying to survive but unfortunately things just just no, kind of fell apart that was a killer i thought maybe i could survive here but no queen is just, right i really missed queen seven that's also what happened to i didn't even see queen seven uh yeah and of course but it, but it, you know it doesn't matter my position even if if you have to go back maybe i can play a four or something i don't know but queen takes seven is just it's funny how like you you play a, a blitz game a couple years ago and then you and then you re you remember it just now and it brings back some uh some painful memory, memory. it's like they're hidden in the back of your of your head you know and right it comes back to you it's like whoa whoa yes now i remember everything now i don't remember the one that i i won it was you some know? bird opening I, I don't think I even put it. It was a longer game. The reason I put this game in because it was very it, short. Man. You don't want to show that I beat you. That's why. <laughs> Maybe that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. But so, like, I, I I use this game from time to time as like a model game for students just to show how to play the structure. Oh, oh, oh no, very. It was going so nice <laughs> until now. Uh, <laughs> but so, oh, sometimes I'll show my losses too, as like just just to offer some inspiration. Like these these quick no, games can only, be instructive. No, only winning, only winning for students. That's, <laughs> that's better. That's, that's good.